Uh, I just want to say, Percy and Anthony, you guys gave terrific performances throughout the whole movie. I'm like, oh, my God, is it real? Is it not? You both, like, filled it. Um, so I guess for you guys, you know, you're portraying brothers, um, twins, and you have a very strong bond. You're stuck in this home your whole lives. And there's this, like, unspeakable evil that we don't know if it's real or not. Can you tell me um, kind of, like, what your process was for each of you? Um, I guess immersing yourselves into the role, because, like, you guys experience a lot. You know, you go hungry. You have to learn how to hunt. You don't have things like TV and cell phones. So I guess kind of how was it putting yourself in that position? Pretty, pretty tough. I mean, we had a lot of preparation. We had great acting coaches. Um, and then we had Miss Howie to help us out. And we had Alex. They all helped us put us in that place of danger. And we were we were always came prepared. Um, we studied really hard make sure that we were always ready to go. And that's kind of how I can, I can't speak for AJ, but that's how I got into that place. Uh, yeah, like, <clears throat> just like Percy said, acting coaches, Mr. Andrew, um, uh, Miss Hallie, of course, the director, Mr. Alex, and uh, me, I would like, sometimes use music to get into character. And Percy, what'd you say you used? Um, just preparation. Yeah. Yeah, every scene was believable, like when you guys were hungry, when you guys were scared, when you guys were like, I guess, like battling ideas, like whether it's real or not, you both did a great job on that. And you also had to develop accents, right? Yes. yes. How was that? It was great. We had a great dialect coach. Um, we had a lot of, again, preparation and had a lot of work and we were able to knock that out. Yeah. Same here. My dad, so he, since he was Southern, like, so I was able to, like, go up to him, and he would help me with some words and the accent, too. So I was able to do it at home also. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and um, I guess throughout the movie, like like I mentioned, like, the tension and the horror really escalates. Um, Throughout the whole movie, viewers are asking, like, is this real? Did this really happen? Is it in the mother's head? And for a decade, you guys live in this house, and no one's seen you. Like I said, you really sold it. How was it, um, I guess, working as scene partners, working off of each other, and also working with Halle Berry? Oh. Oh, so working uh, working with Percy was very cool because we're, we're both, like, we're both kids, and we're both, like, we're both boys. So, like, we would both <laughs> be able to, like, talk about the same things. We would play the same games. It, it was so cool and working with Miss Hallie. She's so kind, such an amazing person. And uh well, like she she taught she taught me a lot of things, like to stay focused. It was it was just a lot. She's such a great person. Yeah. Um it was great working with Miss Hallie and AJ. Um we ha all had an immediate connection. Me and Miss Hallie, uh me and AJ, all of us, we were all really connected to each other. Um it was great to work with Miss Hallie. It was an honor. She's so amazing, great person, great actress, um, and I can't believe that I was able to do this. And then working with AJ was awesome. We also had an immediate connection. We met during the casting process, and we were um, actually auditioning for each other's roles and oh. got to talk about talk about it with each other. And we were we we were hanging out most of the time. You guys probably spent a lot of time on set. You definitely um, gave off like a brotherly vibe. <laughs> Thank you. And um, Anthony, you you worked with heavyweights, not only Halle Berry, but Glenn Close. Um, I guess, can you tell us uh, how it's been for you working in the horror genre? Because you were also in The Deliverance, which was huge. And did you imagine how crazy of a reception like that that would have? Everyone's talking about the performance. Do you have any like favorite moments, um, I guess, working in horror now? Uh, Mostly, mostly like stunts, especially harness stunts. I just love being on the harness, like going up. Just flying back and forth. I can't imagine what uh like Tom Holland Spider Man he does. Like I bet he's always on the harness, just swinging, which is so. And oh, um, I guess what was it working like working with Alex? He's really an incredible visionary horror director. I guess for you guys, did you ever kind of get scared on set? <laughs> yes, especially since it wasn't it wasn't like a green screen. These woods were real. We were in the woods with bears, frogs, everything. Yeah, it was very scary. The art department was great. Makeup was great. It was all very, very scary. And then the, the vision that Alex had was just magnificent. Um, and, like, every single aspect of it was wonderful. The sound, um, again, the makeup, the art, 
the hair, even it was all all amazing. What was it like, um, like working with, uh, I guess, were there like real animals on set and stuff? Because you, you, you had to like eat some bugs and creepy things. I guess, how did they, how did they make that for you guys? <laughs> Well, we had like a, for me, uh, I, I had, well, Percy was, he was also there. There was this guy, he had, he was holding bugs. He had like, he had slugs, he had frogs, he had, I forgot. It was like some type of bug. There was a cockroach, a millipede. So I, I held, I held them. Uh, I, I held them in my hand. The frogs, they, they said that they were too big. So we did, they just really just grabbed frogs out of the, just, The, on the ground because there are frogs everywhere so of course me since i realized that there were frogs on the ground i went hunting for them i brought them to percy percy did not like that Wait, real ones? <laughs> yeah i'm not a bug person um it was cool to be in nature so long like nature started to grow on me while i was out there but normally you won't catch me in a cabin in the woods so yeah Especially after this. yeah <laughs> what are some of your favorite horror movies that you guys kind of studied, I guess? Uh, I can say like uh, Deadpool and Wolverine count as a horror movie. Yeah, I'm not the biggest horror fan myself, but this was something very, very different. Um, it's something. It's like a more of a psychological horror slash thriller, which was which was a pretty cool mix of genres. And um, if I had to pick a horror movie, uh, I don't. I didn't. I never watched the movie, but I did see a little bit of the games and stuff like that. So I guess Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. <laughs> And in terms of like the, I guess, being stuck, like solitude, just the two of you with each other, did you also help come up with some of the like games that you guys would play? No, because like all the games that we would play is more is more gen alpha, more 2020 and higher. So we could couldn't really do that. Yeah. Yeah, we played a lot of different games. I I play like board games still. I like to draw my own games and stuff like that. I try to be creative. But um yeah, the stuff in the movie we didn't really decide, but it was fun to do it. It was fun to see like playing dominoes with wood and stuff like that. It was cool. I I did just forget. I, I, I don't know. I don't know the year exactly, but I think the year might be 2020 or higher. We just didn't have any electronics since we were trapped in the woods. So we couldn't really do anything that me and Percy were trying to. So Did they like keep you guys from using electronics for a while to kind of get used to it? Uh, I, I'm, I'm glad they didn't because, uh, well, I guess the, it, the woods weren't actually that boring, but like, I mean, like after a couple of times you're just in the woods, you're like, I'm pretty scared. Yeah, and you're like, you might want to get out, so. Yeah, um, they didn't take it away. Sometimes it would be limited, like if there was a like a big scene that day, uh, we wouldn't, I wouldn't play as much. But um, yeah, it was good to. I'm glad that we had the electronics still because it was a good way to let up, let go of all the the bad things that were going on on set, like the scary things, the scary scenes, the emotional scenes. It was good to let that kind of go and just have fun for a little bit. And so I'm glad that we still had our. our our energy outlet And lastly, without spoilers, were there any scenes that really stuck out to you or scared you? Yeah, there was a, a a bit of a jump scare scene that I wasn't ready for. Wasn't there that time. <laughs> yeah, there's a um there's a couple scenes in this movie that scare me a lot. But um I can't say my favorite scary moment because that would be a spoiler, but I just hope everybody gets to watch it and see. Yeah, you were both incredible. And I think both of you gave me my scared, most scariest moments <laughs> in the woods, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you, guys. Congrats on the film. Thank, thank you so you. much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <clears throat> All right, I'm good to... I didn't want to go over. Yes, Nadia, you are good to go. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.